Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the size of your video file or MP4 without losing the quality of the video. And I'll be doing this using a free and open source software called Handbrake. So first we need to install Handbrake on your machine. To do that, you go to your browser and then you type in Handbrake and then you go to the official website of Handbrake. You select this first one here and then whether you're using Windows, Mac OS or Linux or whatever operating system that you have, you can select the executable file that is applicable to your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I would download the Windows 64-bit. So once I click on this, I now have the Windows executable file downloaded. I already have this installed on my machine. So all you need to do in your case is to click to open the file and then you follow the instruction. And then you select next 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 and to where you want it saved so i'm not going to continue the installation because i already have it installed on my machine so i will cancel this so once you have your handbrake installed next is to go grab the video file that you want to reduce so i have provided two video files here so this one is um 140 megabyte and this one is 69 megabytes so we can use any of these as an example to see how we can reduce that file so very probably we try the one with 114 megabytes so all you do now is you could either open the file or you can drag and drop into this canvas here so I will drag this file, which is 114 megabytes, and drop in here. Next, you select the web optimize to make sure you have the best quality. So you check the box. And then next, you come to video here. And then you, you can leave the, the frame rate to 30 and then you check this box here to make it a constant frame rate so i will set, check this box next you can drag this knob here to 23 rof 23 i think that works for me i've tried it previously so you could decide to go further low further and all that but probably we go with the rof 23 And then next you go to the encode preset and then you select slow for the encode preset and next you select where you want the reduction or the compressed video file saved so probably i could choose um, this folder where i have this document so we can easily compare so i have this document in here so that's where I also want it saved. And then next you go to start encoding. And then we observe the process will start encoding. Depending on your computer, RAM size and how fast it is, it's gonna take. So this has now completed the encoding. Again, remember here, I didn't check the audio. There's no need, just leave it the way it is. And then the subtitles, leave it the way it is. And drop that the way it is. So let's go quickly and look at the reduced file. You see here that the original file uh, before the reduction is 114 megabytes or 14.50 minutes. And then now this is the reduced version, which is 31.7 megabytes. Then you see that's over 72% reduction. 
which is fairly reasonable. So if you have any size of file, especially if you're going to be pushing them on YouTube, it is um, better to have the size of the file reduced. And that way you can easily stream your video or, or send it to someone without having a, a bulky file. So that's it. I hope you find this video useful. Please hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye for now.